All right, what's it been, like a month? I have been waiting and waiting and waiting on parts. I thought that a simple thermostat would be something that everybody would have, but turns out it's not. But today I got a call, so I made a special trip into town to get my genuine Cummins parts. And hopefully we can wrap this project up and get it out of my driveway. So we'll get going on that right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my video before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and this is Dad's 95, 94 Dodge 2500 with the Cummins diesel, and it had the water pump of sadness, and it originally started because he was wanting to put thermostat in it, and then found out that it was leaking water pump as well. And so we were waiting on, I mean, I had everything ready to go. I might have to touch that up with the old wire brush again. But what we were waiting on was there are two seals that go in this housing. And the one I had a heck of a time finding was this flat one here, which lays in there first, and then the thermostat lays on top of it. I'm not entirely... Uh, I don't know. The old one looked like it was wider than this, but who knows. I should also point out that it's almost freezing out here now again for no reason at all. But yes, this rubber will fit down in there. And then our thermostat, which consequently is not a genuine Cummins part, because they were 90 days out. <laughs> And we've already wasted enough time. But this should go in there somehow or another. Maybe that lays in the... Okay, there you go. So I guess that lays in there. And then this goes over top of it, maybe? I'm not entirely sure that that's how the other one was. But it ought to work. You know, the other gasket is supposed to go in there and uh, see it actually goes through that lifting eye as well. And that was part of the trouble that we were having. And this one is like stepped and I'm not sure if it, I guess it goes like that. And then this would go like this, actually like this. And then that still leaves some rubber out where when we put it in there, it will do that thing. And see, it's got that little recessed area there where your, there's not a good way to show you that, I guess. But this piece of the thermostat will go against there when it is closed as it is now. And the one that they sold him at the old NAPA is not that thing it is just like a uh average joe regular and i don't think that that would do the same type of thing so that's why i was so finicky in particular about it some people may say well that has nothing to do with anything and why did you waste your time but it is what it is now but we got us an assembly now see so trying to remember how this all went it has been such a long time there's two long bolts and a short bolt so that would probably be this one and this one and this one are the three that we need and I'm gonna get the drill and the wire wheel and give this another cleanup because obviously enough time has passed that we have you know wasted our efforts here i was going to change the oil in it too but i might just let him do that now because since it's cold i don't know it may just be easier to do that later so we're going to get started and hopefully 
we can tough this out. I also have the lower radiator hose to do before we put the alternator in, I think. It would probably be easier. And then, what else? Upper radiator hose and she should be done. And like I said, he can change the oil. Uh, I thought it'd be a little easier to get to the filter, but it can obviously be done <laughs> any other time because he's been doing it all this time. So yeah. So things I am not a fan of. When the weather goes from like 60s down to the 20s, I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to clean up all the pieces too while we're at it. Ooh, that reminds me. I think I'm going to put some anti-seizure on there. If I have some handy. Just because I don't want those to twist off next time. All right. All I did was touch the bottle and I already got it all over me. Isn't that amazing? How that stuff works. Now, I realize that this does not take any type of sealer, <laughs> but I think I'm going to put some on it anyway, just in case. Does that go in there? I guess it seals against that. You Cummins boys might like to go in dry, but I don't. So I'm going to use a little bit of the magical paste. Just a thin, thin film. To just maybe help out any imperfections that may have come along life's way there. I like the ground wire right in the way, you know. That's nifty. Then we're going to put way too much of this silver stuff on here. Just on the shaft. We want the shaft, you know, taken care of. Always mind the shaft. Well, son of a Knutson, if I didn't drop that first thing, that ain't very pleasant. It makes me think rooster sounds. <laughs> First thing we do is start all over. And I realize the flaw in my plan. Oh, there we go. I forgot that this was movable. All right, now we're back on track. It got hairy there for a minute, but See, I'm thinking that that ground's got to go uh, over that. I'm trying too many steps at once. And it's going to make me sad. Nope, this ain't going to go like I want it to. Pause. Dang it. That ground thing I wish was out of my life. Alright. If I do it this way, I think I'll accomplish my task. I hope I will. We're going to have to actually, in order to make this go, I'm going to have to stick that one in for temporary. So it will hold it level and not let the stuff fall down. It is so cold I can't hardly feel my fingers and that ain't a cool feeling to have or to not have. 
Also note to self, do not itch under your nose when your hand is covered with anti-seize or you will then look like an aging German dictator. So that's nice. Good thing we're not going out in public right now. Too much, sure. Do I have gloves in my pocket? No. Let's tighten them all a little. And then we'll go back and tighten them a lot. For some reason why that's not wanting to tighten. There it goes. All right. We're going to call that one good. We should have probably got this hose, which we didn't. So that's a tomorrow project, unless I can find some around here. We'll look here after a while. I think I got some. All right. You should be able to catch her all from there. But we're going to swap out these. As I feel like it's time, since they're original, more than likely. Come on. Again, these maybe weren't bad, but I think now's the time. They don't owe us nothing. And it just would be, okay, if I was a smart, smart man, there we go. I'd feed the hose through first. All right. And I do that, like that. And then get this one loose, which is going to be easier said than done, I bet you, because it has been sitting here constricting itself. Come on. Okay. Get on there. Get on there, Mama. Oh. Fail. Epically. That's even more epic. <laughs> Should probably invest in, like, the real tool to do this, but... Vice grip will work if you just aren't a moron. Ah. Would also help if it was, wasn't cold. Like freezing cold, like it is today. I was also thinking there was a bolt we took loose down low. It may have put that back in already. All right. One down there. Now, can we lay this up out of our way to where we still have full access down below? You can't go wrong with full access down below. Maybe we don't need to replace the lower here. I mean, that's the hard one to get to. Who does that? <laughs> Well, we're making progress, but it is slow, friends. It is slow. Sometimes we gotta back up and take loose what we just did. Because it ain't working out for us. I 
I got this. See how nice that one fits? Why couldn't they all go like that? Instead of that bottom one, that is a total pain. All right, so I think we're entering the third hour of sadness on this struggle bus ride. But we're nearing the finish line. I found a piece of hose, so that's done. It's ready for water, but I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way back together. You know, I thought about filling it first for leak test, but because it's freezing outside, I need to make sure I can run it and mix it together. So I want to just get it all the way. So I guess dealer's choice here of where to start. Top or bottom, we got to finish that there, and then we can put the belt on. And I don't remember. It's probably not this one. Would it be? Oh, what a surprise. It hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't wanted to play that way the whole time. I also do not think that this is all the way through where it's supposed to be. I don't know what we got going on here. Come on. I'd say we're going to fight this one. Just because. We fought everything else. Why wouldn't we fight this too? You know? Come on. Get through there. There we went a little farther. No? Why is that pushing back at me? That's what I'm not understanding here. It's fighting me. And it shouldn't. All I want is for you to start in there. Why can't you play the game that we're playing called assembly? What is the problem here? Goes right in that way. Everything looks square too, so I don't know why. Oh, maybe I need to lift it up. That's what it was. Lift it up. Okay. Sure. The bottom one's still in. Minus, of course, the tap that we need to... Okay. Normally, I would recommend a breaker bar to move this idler, but... I don't have mine handy, so we're going to use this ratchet. So we're going to go around a combination of pulleys to this pattern here. So we got to get the belt on. we got a fancy green belt this time. And I don't know what's going to be the easiest way to get her fed around through there. I'm hoping... Oh good, this one is one that... <laughs> It's not right on the shroud where it's impossible. To... Some of them, there's no clearance between the, the shroud and the belt or the tip of the fan blades, and you can't hardly get them. But we're gonna play keep away from my intelligence anyway. Under the water pump. Over the alternator. It jumped off down there at the bottom, so I gotta.
getting close. There. I think we got it. Come on out of there. <laughs> we got it, but now the ratchet is a permanent fixture. Okay, I think we're around everything. We're in the right grooves. No, we're not. We're not in the right thing down here, are we? What's happening there? We're gonna have to address that, because that won't work. That's why you always need to check before you start it up to make sure you're actually in all the grooves the right way, because sometimes you could be off by one and stuff, or like that case. Down there, I was hooked around that bolt head, if you can see that. And it wasn't where it was supposed to be, and it would have shredded that belt instantly. So, yeah. I think we're ready to fill it full of the green juice. Or in his case, the gold juice, because that's what he got. Gold is universal. So, we'll just go with it. Pour in about half of this. I'm pouring a little water. And then we'll continue on our way. Somewhat mix it part way while we're doing this, you know. I guess we could. Can we twin? Probably not. We'll twin pour. Mixing it as we go. Never done that before, but... Sure. Somehow I'm making less of a mess pouring two cans at once than I do when I pour one by itself. I'm not really understanding that. Alright, we're just about ready for a test drive, I believe. Need to put his battery cables back on, which probably need attention in themselves, because that other one I can't tighten, and this one's pretty bad, so we'll see what we can do. Oh, it's broken. I see that now. That's no good. It's actually cracked, so we might have to get him some repair in. Well, that's tight on there. This other one, I don't know though. There's nothing I can really do for it, I don't think. Other than just hope it finds its happy place. We never changed his oil, but that's okay. However, before we go, I do want to check it. You have oil in you? Yes. And that should be telling about the truth because by now it should have settled down in there. Maybe it needs about a quart. I don't know if that's to be believed. This horse does drink a little oil. Now the phone's ringing again. Okay, so it's been sitting here for several weeks, however long it's been, a month, I don't remember. Let's see if she won't run. It should. It probably won't back up this hill, but... Okay, wait to start. It'll run. I just need to hold my foot on the accelerator a little bit. Wait to start. We really need to look at it before we go. I shouldn't have closed the hood. Are you idle now? It idles too low. I fixed that once and it likes to vibrate out of adjustment, so 
Because it does vibrate. sure that it's uh, you know what I'm saying not only mix the antifreeze but make sure that we don't have any leaks two-wheel drive up a hill probably won't happen just barely tractor should be nice and toasty because I plugged it in before we started working on this. We got enough fuel for a change. That's nice. Alright. We'll hit the certified test loop here. Pretty well take everything on this same path. Cold day today, or at least 
what I'm saying is it may not get up into the operating temperature like it would normally. p.m. 60 miles an hour so it doesn't even know that the truck is here you know we might as well make another loop with it buddy what are you doing so after driving around the block, we got it to almost 140, but she didn't really work very hard, see? So, I don't know. We're gonna do a fluid check. I don't think anything's leaking, that's good. down a little so we better put some more in well I put a piece of cardboard in front of the radiator and now I'm slowly getting it to climb but I think it's just too cold of a day and the truck cools too well now to really heat it up. But I wanted to see it hit that, maybe I think this thermostat might be about 160 or so. I'd like to see it get up there and then open and let it, you know. But I don't know if I can do it. I mean, this is a good problem to have if you're in the middle of the summer because you want it to be cool, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just too cold of a day. I'm afraid it's freezing and I'm not doing anything but driving around. Maybe if I was pulling a trailer, it would be a different story. But I think we got it fixed. It doesn't leak. It's just not putting out any heat. So we got to figure out why is that thing. All right, so where do we stand? Well, even with the cardboard, I could get it up to like 150 or so. I think it's just too cold outside today to get it to do that but i should still have better heat inside and so what i'm gonna have to do is flush this heater core out uh, i've had to do that before on different vehicles i've had uh, grandpa's car was the worst i finally put in quick disconnect so i could flush it out all the time but anyway I i'm guessing that when it got low enough maybe it sucked some trash or trash settled in there or something but you know, you just take the two hoses loose and then go back and forth with your garden hose until clean stuff comes out. And then connect them up and you should have heat again. So, that's what I'm hoping is the problem here. And then this will be done and out of my life as far as needing to work on it. So, that's where we'll call this one. And we'll see what happens next time. Well, I flushed out his heater core and now it's nice and warm in here. It's still not getting temperature gauge wise warm but like I said it's about 32 or so right now maybe less so yeah that's understandable that it's gonna take it a while because just cruising it's not gonna really put up a sweat so but at least we got it to heat up again so I'd say we'll call this project a success as always if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, and tell me how dumb you think I am. Or, if by some slim chance you liked it, say that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.